everyone, Kevin here. I have a brand new update for you on the next round of stimulus from Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. That's the Republican side. Mitch McConnell is speaking at a United Kingdom hospital. I watched his entire interview and followed up with all the questions afterwards, and I've got all of the bottom lines for you here. And while you watch this video, make sure you sign up for life insurance. Link down below. You could do it before the video is even half over, and then you could use the second half of the video to get two free stocks with Weeble because why not? They're two free stocks. Deposit $100, you get two free stocks up to $1,400. Okay, here we go. Mitch McConnell says, regarding the way forward, we cannot keep propping up the economy forever. So he's recognizing that we have been propping up the economy, at least somewhat. It certainly doesn't feel like a lot of us have been propped up. You know, maybe we've gotten a little bit of relief, but uh, does indicate we can't keep propping it up forever. This is possibly a slam at monthly recurring stimulus check payments. That could be a slam on that. So the whole $2,000 per month potential, this might be a subtle slam on that. He does uh, admit that we have depression era unemployment and the ultimate solution is getting back to normal, which this is a line party, uh, sort of a long party lines. We've been hearing a lot of talk about payroll tax credits, employee retention credits, getting back to work bonuses, like that $450 per week stimulus idea I broke to you yesterday. Then uh, Mitch McConnell says the ultimate solution is testing, treatment, and a vaccine which is an interesting twist on what Nancy, Nancy Pelosi says. Nancy Pelosi, obviously the Democrat majority leader in the House, says that we need testing, treatment, and tracing. <laughs> Mitch McConnell got rid of the tracing part. Uh, the, the, a lot of talk in Congress right now about the tracing, by the way, is not very popular, mostly because of privacy concerns. Now, uh, Mitch McConnell goes on to say, will this require us to act, this record level of unemployment? Will this require us to act? And he says, probably but it will not be a $3 trillion bill. It will be narrowly focused on the mistakes we made the first time. Let's think about the mistakes they made the first time. Remember the SBA, the EIDL loan, the EIDL loan, those $1,000 grants? That was one of the mistakes. Maybe that'll get addressed. And also remember the last round of $1,200 stimulus checks? Anybody who was claimed as a dependent who was over 17 didn't get the stimulus check. That means college students got left out, adult dependents got left out. Really unfair, a lot of people got left out there. This could be an implication that Mitch McConnell, Republican, is saying, hey, you know what? We want to fix that. And after all, the HEROES Act does have $1,200 stimulus checks for everyone who qualifies within those income thresholds, same as last time, including people who are claimed as dependents. So that's, uh, that's potentially a fix. We all obviously have uh, some potential fixes that need to be done in the unemployment space and the PPP space. So that's good. Let's see what else he says. He indicates that consumer confidence is up this morning, which it is. Consumer confidence shot up this morning over expectations. Real estate home sales also shot up over expectations, which you are, if you are a member of my real estate investing group, link down below, you remember we had been talking in March and April about, you know what, April and, and the beginning of May, those are gonna be the fear months. Those are gonna be the months to buy. Uh, and uh, that was because we were looking at the data going, oh, it looks like we're kind of trending back up. It's weird. I know I know that upsets uh, a, a lot of us because it's like, well, come on. There's supposed to be a foreclosure crisis and a crash so we could all buy affordable housing again. I would love nothing more than that, okay? I would love to go shopping for real estate. It's just not what we're seeing with the data right now. Not to say it's not coming. I made a different video. YouTube didn't really suggest that video as much. But if you want to learn more about my opinion on that and what's actually probably going to happen, watch this video up here. Okay, moving on. Mitch McConnell says that two thirds of our economy is consumer spending. We need to make sure that we have unemployment funded for as long as we need. That's interesting. He's not necessarily dividing what, what he's saying here because remember unemployment is two parts, state funding and the $600 per week pandemic unemployment boost. Now, my guess is he means funding states unemployment sort of coffers to make sure they have enough money to pay the state unemployment portion. But we know they're not super jazzed about extending that $600 per week beyond July 31st, but they could. The HEROES Act currently proposes extending it all the way through January 31st of next year, which would be great for a lot of people currently receiving unemployment. He does suggest that this uh, this problem that they have to fix on, on you know continuing to fund unemployment insurance could lead to another bill. Obviously, he's looking for liability protections, but wants to make sure it's carefully crafted so that it doesn't protect people from gross negligence or misconduct. Basically, people purposefully being lazy or screwing up on purpose. Uh, that obviously, you know, somebody should be liable in a situation like that. That makes sense. He mentions that we'll determine in the next few weeks if there'll be another bill. 
I, I hate this whole wait and see thing. It's frustrating to a lot of people. Uh, it's frustrating to a lot of governors. He acknowledges that himself. A lot of governors need more money. But he does say that debt is still a concern to him. I guess he kind of actually waters down what the economists and the Federal Reserve are saying. We know that Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell and every bank president that we've heard from that I've reported on, they're all saying, please spend more, do more. Now is the time to do that. Uh, obviously here, Mitch McConnell is actually kind of throwing some cold water on that idea by suggesting, ah, you know, uh, yeah, there, there are economists saying this, there are economists saying this or that, but right now the debt is a concern and we have more debt than the size of our economy right now, uh, which means we're over 100% debt to uh, GDP. All right, moving on. Uh, he mentions that we're a consumer-driven economy which is good because it's an indication that he's aware that for our economy to recover, it's going to depend on us as consumers, which to me is a little bit of a hint at uh, potentially more stimulus. Of course, based on the first line that he suggested, we're not expecting uh, you know, monthly recurring stimulus, but he wants to fix problems, which we had problems with the old stimulus. So I, I think more and more, we're starting to see an acceptance of this $1,200 second round of stimulus. He did though call the $3 trillion bill laughable uh, he said it was laughable uh, and uh, full of, uh, you know, we've heard this phrase a million times before, democratic wish list items and things like that. I, I honestly kind of believe what uh, some of the other Senate Republicans are saying a little bit more, though, where they say, hey, look, there are some things we can tweak in this bill. It's not all bad. Uh, so, and I agree with that. This, uh, by the way, is uh, what Mitch McConnell, uh, if you care, what kind of uh, everything looked like today. Uh, in the meantime, here we go. This is... Uh, this is where the press conference was held. If we pop on over here, you can kind of get a little glimpse of what he's saying. But this, we cannot have an open economy with an epidemic of lawsuits on the heels of the pandemic that we're working our way through. So I can guarantee you that if there's another bill, and there probably will be, it will include uh, litigation protection related only to the coronavirus pandemic. So. All right, I kind of gave you a full summary there. I don't need to give you everything all over again, but uh, there you have it. So there's an update directly from Mitch McConnell. If you appreciated this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Really helps out the channel, really appreciate you. Check out my programs down below. I have extended the sale through the end of the month. A lot of you had sent me emails like, please extend the sale to the end of the month. And I've gone ahead and do that. The price does go up every time these coupons expire. So do consider checking out those programs on the psychology of money, real estate investing, do it yourself, property management or even if you want to become a real estate agent, real estate agent sales. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.